Hey, what's up, YouTube? Aphrodite's Crush here, back with you once again. And I have a first taste video for you today. So I just got this in the mail today. So uh, we're going to give it a shot here. It is BSN's Endo Rush. Now, this is the sour candy flavor, so it should be very interesting. Um, according to the front of the package here, it is banned substance tested. Intense energy and focus, patented pump technology, 100% label transparency, and that is a energy and performance pre-workout. So uh, basically what you're supposed to do is put one uh, packet, or which would be a scoop, which I think it says 13.5 grams, and about, I think it says 5 to 8, sorry, 5 to 6 fluid ounces of water. It's supposed to take just 15 to 30 minutes before your workout. So I just put in here like right before I started shooting. Uh, mixability factor, pretty good. It's I, I think I actually have this like underneath the the six ounce marker possibly, and you get a little bit of selling at the bottom, but not much. Oh, actually no, I just noticed a little bit more. But even so, got some nice cold water here. Some uh, supplement facts here: um, five calories, one gram total carbs, uh, two hundred milligrams of vitamin C. Uh, 30 milligrams of niacin, uh, pantothenic acid, and that is 10 milligrams, calcium 70 milligrams, sodium 170 milligrams, potassium 160 milligrams, uh, performance composite, which is 3 grams of creatine monohydrate, uh, beta alanine at 1.6 grams, black pepper extract, weird, uh, that's uh, 5 milligrams, the pump matrix, which has got a performance blend of arginine 1.5 grams, citrulline 1.5 grams, creatine nitrate 1 gram, calcium, this is going to be interesting for me to, uh, to pronounce here, calcium glycerophosphate 250 milligrams, calcium, sorry, magnesium glycerophosphate 250 milligrams, energy and focus complex, which is caffeine from green tea leaf and or green coffee bean 150 milligrams, Caffeine anhydrous, 150 milligrams. Longland extract, uh, as euphoria, it's 150 milligrams. Yohimbi extract, 26 milligrams as well. So, here it goes nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Endo Rush from BSN. Like I said, again, this is the sour candy, which most likely is going to be, and I, I know nothing about this. I just uh, I got the sample free off of BSN's website. So, Probably going to be something like a, like a warhead or something along those lines. So, smells like actually the meat smells more like more like blue raspberry than anything else. Weirdly enough, but then again, like it, the, the the blue raspberry type of smell is kind of what a lot of uh, sour candy, at least to me, smells like before you eat it. So, here we go. Okay, that is actually really good, I, I gotta say. Um, it kind of dries out your mouth like uh, a sour candy would. It's basically kind of like a, a, a warhead, essentially. Uh, that's pretty much, like, that's actually like, it pretty much just kind of lines up right against it. Um, consistency tends to dry out your mouth. Um, that's actually really dries out your mouth, just like a, a, a you know a warhead or a sour patch kid would. You know there was some uh, some settling uh, shook it up before I drank it a little bit, and truthfully, it actually doesn't really taste too grainy, which is a little surprising. Uh, maybe it just hadn't had time to really uh, dissolve. But um, even with the consistency of it, it, it still still has a nice smooth finish. No real aftertaste except, of course, for your standard sour candy aftertaste, which, um, like everything has anyway. So that's uh, actually not, not that damn bad. And the thing about it is, is that it has a little pump to it, kind of knocks you in the mouth a little bit. Essentially, just like if you were uh, 
you know, eating a sour patch kid or a warhead. I, 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 I hate to bring up those two again and again. That's really those those two that I, I really come to mind because it has that taste of, of course, of your of a sour candy as advertised, um, and not a lot of that after effect because uh, when you when you have a warhead, it just kind of like lingers on the back of your tongue, and a lot of people don't like that. Happy to report, this really doesn't. Um, like I said, nice smooth finish, not a lot of graininess, which for something that is sour candy flavored, is probably the two biggest compliments I can give this. So, yeah, go ahead, we will finish this off here and give some final thoughts. It's a little bit more intense as you go along. Not a bad thing, though. Not a bad thing. Woo. Still finishes smooth. So, quick recap of BSN's Endo Rush, the sour candy flavor. Taste is as advertised. Um, intensity of taste as opposed to the flavor that it's imitating is actually, I'd say, 9 out of 10. It is almost like directly right there. Now, intensity on the other side of, of the intensity of actual flavor versus the intensity of the versus flavor, not as intense. So you're probably looking at about maybe 5 or 6 out of 10 as far as it really kind of puckering up your mouth. It does dry out your mouth. It's from the first taste, I'm like, I need more. I need regular water. <laughs> so, um, it's actually really tastes good. Finishes well. Uh, it does leave a little bit of residue in the bottle, though, um, which I was really surprised because it doesn't really kind of give off that when you're drinking it. So, and of course, you know, I was trying to mix it and keep it mixed. But that, again, could be because it has so little water in there, too. So, and I, I do notice a lot of pre-workouts do have that problem. But overall, good taste, good finish. Let's just hope that this ends up as advertised when we hit the gym here in about 20 minutes. So, I want to thank you all for out there for watching. Feel free to check out BSN's website to check out Endo Rush as well. So, I want to thank again for everybody out there for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye and good night.